slash TV. We call it enrichment. <laughs> oh my God. Don't get too close. This one scared me half to death. Come on, let's go. Spent too much time in here as it is. Come on. Check out this guy. Hey, that one's a pain in the ass. Thinks he's special or something. <laughs> it's like he's thinking or something. <laughs> Try not to get you close, man. Come on, guys, let's get out of here. Planet of the Apes movies have been with us since 1968, when Charlton Heston starred in the first one. The new one, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, is the seventh in the series. And it's something different. It's an origin story. It's going to tell us how it came to be that the apes rule and human beings ended up in cages. Where did this come from? More than that, what this film has going for it, besides telling the origin story, is really exceptional use of what is known as performance capture and motion capture. Now, these are techniques that allow the apes to look really real, to have wonderful facial expressions, and to move, and this is a first time thing, to move not in a studio, but in a real world environment. This story takes place in San Francisco, and Caesar, the, who becomes the uh, godfather of the apes, is played by, in a motion capture suit by Andy Serkis, the man who played Gollum in The Lord of the Rings and who is really the world-class person in terms of motion capture. This is an exciting story. This is the kind of summer movie we've been waiting for. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.